everyone welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a review and a demo of the ELF's putty primer poreless putty primer this retails for eight dollars I you know I did a demo and a review I sorry I did a demo on what I think about it and if you want to know my honest opinions about it just keep on watching alrighty so this is the poreless elf putty I bought it at Target today for eight dollars I just wanted to give it a go because I've noticed recently that my pores like are really around my nose and I have a lot of texture right now too it has really been like bothering me when I put my makeup on lately even though it does look slightly like flawless still I feel like it's just an illusion that I have my eye makeup on today I do my eyelashes and mascara because um Whenever I do my mascara and I'm doing like setting powder, um, my eyelashes get like white, so I just like to do that after. I'm super excited to give this a go. This is 0.74 ounces and it's the Poreless Putty Primer Universal Sheer. The directions say apply a thin, even amount to moisturized skin prior to makeup application. Allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. I already uh, moisturize my skin, cleanse, moisturize, and all that jazz. Just need to get it out. Ooh, I feel like this needs. Oh, okay. It's pretty sleek. I love how like sleek it is. It is kind of small, but that's okay. It says you need like a thin, even amount. So I understand. I'm just gonna tuck my ear, my hair behind my ears. There's no scent to it. I'm pretty impressed. So this is what it looks like. I'm uh, sorry. So I'm using a new camera and a new setup. So I'm trying to get used to it. It feels kind of weird. Interesting. So it says thin even amount. So it feels really smooth while it's on. So that's nice. It feels smooth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my beauty sponge like I always do and do my foundation normally. I'm going to use my Real Cosmetics. Nope, It's Cosmetics. Blah. I'm going to use my It's Cosmetics CC Cream, my Tarte Concealer, my Velour Setting Powder, not my Velour, oh, my Pretty Vulgar Setting Powder. And I will do everything normal normally. I'm just going to fast forward it so y'all just don't get bored with me just like doing it. So yeah, I'm going to start it right now. I've been having a hard time with my pores on my nose and this just went on like so smooth it's like I'm not having trouble with it like staying on or like kind of moving around and can you hear that it just looks so good my skin is not smooth I struggle with a lot of texture that's like my big struggle is texture and blackheads and an oily nose because of blackheads I guess I don't know but that's like just what I assume yeah, it just looks so good. I'm like really happy. So I'm going to do like the rest of my face off camera. So like concealer, blusher, eyelashes, bronzer, and all that jazz. I'm going to do it all off camera. Yeah, I'll show you guys the finished product and um, my final thoughts on this product. Okay, my foundation and concealer went on so good. I noticed that my concealer didn't crease. I like to put my concealer on, let it like sit and like settle to those fine lines and then like blend it out again. But when I like let it settle, like I didn't really have to blend out a lot. Which like I love, but I didn't really have to blend out a lot because sometimes it can like it creases a lot. But I have a feeling because of this primer, it didn't crease a lot. And I like I love this primer. I thought I wasn't gonna like this primer because like the texture. I just didn't think I was gonna like it that much because of the hype and I feel like I don't really need like poreless um like poreless primers but I guess now I realize I do need poreless primers because like my nose and I, I think even my forehead looks a lot better with this primer than like the other primer I was using like I where is it? it's in here somewhere 
don't know where it's at. The Touch and Soul um, primer I love, but I feel like it wasn't really like helping my nose area. But this is amazing, amazing, amazing. I love this. It's totally worth the eight bucks. My mom came in and she was like talking to me. She goes, your face looks so good. Like my nose especially. She noticed my nose right away. And I was like, mom, it's all this primer. This primer is legit, like awesome. Totally, totally worth the $8. Totally worth the hype too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would like me to review something else, just leave it in the comment section down below. Please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And until my next video, I shall see you guys next time. Bye.